Hey guys, Kali Chrissy here. Welcome to my video. Just to give you guys a quick background, um, prior to Kali Chrissy, I had no experience with fitness. I was never physically active. I had zero sports. But anyway, I have been doing calisthenics for almost four years now. And I have to say that it has truly changed me. Not only is it purely beneficial, but it's also functional. I would like to show you guys that there are three key exercises that help me become strong. So, what am I trying to say here is that you can actually gain muscles by doing calisthenics. You just need to do these three key exercises and incorporate this in your everyday workout. Now, why pull-ups? Why dips? Why push-ups? I can't even do those. You might think it's impossible, but it's not. I started my training with zero background. Like what I said, I was never active, but there are always progressions for this. Um, before, I couldn't even do a single push-up. I started with knee push-ups, with pull-ups. I started with negatives same with dips and i'm telling you it's possible you just have to keep doing it you just have to keep practicing and eventually you will really get your muscles your arm gains your back gains it's real it, just try to remember these three words dip pull and push yes those are dips pull-ups and push-ups in calisthenics you don't really need weights or any equipment because you're just using your body weight but when you're doing a pull-up, of course, you need a pull-up bar. And I got this from a Facebook seller. She sold this to me for less than 5,000 pesos, I think. And that's inclusive of delivery. So what's great about this pull-up bar is that it comes with a dip station. I would still think that this is a good buy since you can do pull-ups with it and dips. Then for push-ups, you just need space and the floor which i prefer to use um a mat so it's more comfortable and i can really move around i also got the mats from the same <laughs> facebook seller she's my go-to person when i buy anything gym related so if you guys are interested let me know i'll give you her number but this one is what i use for my dips I got this from Shopee and it was sold to me for also the same amount, like less than 5,000, I think. And it's this one's really sturdy and I prefer to use this one because you can do wider dips compared to this one. So if you want to learn how to do a pull-up, you need to buy a pull-up one first. And once you install it, we can work on your grip strength first. Your grip plays an important role when you're doing a pull-up. So grab a stool or a chair if your pull-up bar is too high. You hold onto the bar and do a dead hang position. This is a dead hang position. Try to hold onto the bar for 15 seconds. If it's easier for you, you can progress to 20 seconds and then 30 seconds. Okay, try to do that for like three to four times as part of your grip exercise. Just realize that my shirt time is seen. Please don't mind it. I had this when I went shooting with my dad and my sister last week. Anyway, let's move forward. So the next step is um, a negative. So once you're able to fully grasp on your grip strength, that you're able to hold for 30 seconds, you can now move on to a pull-up negative. So, you need a stool or a box or a chair. Step onto it. You hold onto this and then you jump with your chin reaching above the bar and then you descend very slowly. So, I'm gonna jump. Hold for a bit. Try to hold and then go down very slowly. Okay. Have to keep doing this for at least five times per set. Jump. Slowly. Release. Jump. Slowly. Okay. 
So try to do this for about five times per set, maybe do three sets per day. That basically helps you activate your back muscles. Anyway, my sister's here. She just went to my gym and she wants to try it out. But this time, she's going to do a chin-up negative. <laughs> okay, Miss Tulian. Okay, so, Pao, <laughs> can you demonstrate? She's gonna jump and then make sure that when you go down, it's slowly. And try to control your descent. Now? Yeah, now. Okay, that's not Look how nervous. Go. Yan. Yeah. Okay, try to hold. Then you go down very slowly. Okay, that's good enough. Pull up negatives are super important. That's how I was able to do my first single pull up. You just have to keep practicing your negatives. And eventually, you'll be able to do a proper pull up. When doing a pull up, just make sure that you don't do half reps like this. Okay, that's actually a wrong form. Half reps aren't really effective because you're not fully engaging your muscles. So make sure that when you do a pull up, when you descend, your arms are fully extended before you do another rep. So, pull up, down, fully extended arms, up again, down. Okay? It's best that you do it the right way. While pull-ups work on your back and your biceps, dips, on the other hand, work on your triceps. So if you're just starting out, we need to work on, again, your grip strength. Same thing with the pull-ups. We had to do a dead hang and hold for 15 seconds, then progress to 20 seconds, and then 30 seconds. It's the same thing for dips. Just have to hold on again. Try to not move and tighten your whole body. Next progression is a negative. You start with your dip holds. And then you go down slowly. Make sure that when you go down, your arms and your elbow are pointed this way and not this. It has to be close to your chest. And not this. It has to be this. Just like pull up negatives, do this for at least five times per set. Do three sets per day. Um, when you feel that you're getting stronger and that you're getting the hang of it, try to increase your reps to maybe 10 reps per set. So again, start with a hold. Then you go down very slowly with your Elbows and your arms pointed inwards. Try to reach a 90 degree angle. Then you stop. Then you do it again. If you've been doing your negatives for a long time and you've been practicing several times, I suggest that you try to do at least one rep of dips just so you could see if you're able to do it. Because sometimes you'll never know unless you try. There are people who, who have been doing these negatives for a long time and then they don't even realize that they can actually do proper dips. So try to do at least one rep if you feel that you are already becoming stronger. I think dips are more challenging than pull-ups because you're using 100% of your arms when you're lifting yourself. Versus the pull up, you're using well most of your back and then some of your arms. But this one is purely arms, so I think this is a great workout for gaining muscles, especially on your triceps. Okay, so make sure when you do dips, you descend at a 90 degree angle and then you lift yourself up using the strength of your arms. Now, some people when they do dips, they don't go full 90 degrees, they just do a half rep like this. That's wrong. 
make sure you go down 90 degrees and lift. Last key exercise is a push-up. I'm sure most of you guys know how to do a push-up, but for beginners, I actually posted a video on how to do a proper push-up. You can check that out. But for those who are already familiar with push-ups, you can challenge yourself and do a decline push-up instead. That's when your body is elevated, which makes it more challenging because you are pushing more of your body weight. The more elevated you are, the harder it gets. The next exercise you can do is a pike push-up, which I love by the way, because it focuses on your arms, plus your shoulders and your back. Basically, you just have to straighten your legs like this, and then you let your head touch the floor. It's as if you're doing a wide push-up, because your elbows are pointed sideways so as you can see this works on your back muscles so there try to do back push-ups decline push-ups or even elevate your pike push-ups for stronger arms and back That's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Those are my tips. Just remember three exercises. Dip, pull, push. Those are dips, pull-ups, and push-ups. Giving you better gains and a stronger you. Thanks for watching again. Bye!